there YouTube friends welcome to day 16-17 I was reading some of the comments and I realized that I received a message from I believe it was mama bear sorry from Texas she was asking for me to show you guys how I make my basically my cheese tortillas carnivore tortillas and yes, I know how you say tortillas, but I love saying just tortillas. So I'm going to stick to that, okay? If you don't like it, be gone <laughs> or skip. But anyways, um, so real quick, all I did here, and of course, I'm going to enjoy these because I decided to, you know, eat them today. So I'm going to make them really quick. Now, the best cheese that I find to do them with is this one. And it's my pepper jack cheese. One, because it gives it a little spice. So let me open up my camera so you guys can see it. I just shredded it, so that's all I did. So it's pepper jack. I always buy the two pack. Um, two pack, two pound. Okay. And then, so I just shredded it, and I like using the big one. Now I have this tiny little pan right here warming up. It's a really tiny, I want to say maybe 8 inch, 10 inch, I honestly don't know, probably less. And that's the time, I'm on my lunch break. But, you know, tortillas sound really good right about now. So there I'm lifting up the crater, there goes all the cheese. And because it is pretty big, you literally, all you have to do is don't add anything, no butter, no nothing, no need. Because, of course, the cheese has its own, like, fat and its own content. So I just pour it in here as so. And I grab one of the silicone spatulas from my drawer. And you just literally just wait for it to kind of, like, melt and come together. Okay? And I do it shredded because if I cut the little, like, squares or rectangles from right there, which you can do as well, and then just let the little rectangles kind of gather themselves together, you know. But I find it easier if I shred the cheese. It'll just unify faster, like melt in together faster. So let me show you how that's looking. You see that, how it's just all combining. And you're going to let it just brown as much as you can. Now this is the way I prefer to do it because it's easy and it's right here. There's other ways that you can do it if you don't want to do it in a pan because it might stick. Well, this is a non-stick pan, but you can also do it with, um, I've done them with the parchment paper on a baking sheet and I just create, you know, the makeshift little circle there. And so there we go. See how bubbly that looks? Looks really nice. But you kind of want to look at that color. And it's I know it's hard to look at underneath. But it's just a good few minutes. So far it's been about a minute or so. And I have it on high. And then I just have the center circle on since it's a little pan. You just got to keep an eye and make sure it doesn't, you know, burn. Now, because I am holding my cell phone, of course, I won't be able to flip or do anything fancy. So I'm going to hold you guys on for a second and pause it for a few seconds while I flip this baby over, okay? Because I don't want it to be a hot mess while I'm trying to hold my phone. So give me a sec. All right, friends, there we have it. So what I ended up doing is I ended up just... Flipping it with the pan. My little spatulas didn't want to flip this time just because it's a bigger tortilla. But anywho, now you're just going to let it brown. Once again. And then what I use is the spatula in between. So that still has the other, the other cheese. So I'm just going to pull out... 
another plate. And what I do is I then flip it like a little and it's going to be maybe stuck a little bit. Hold on a second. Hello. Okay. And then right away, stretch it out and kind of stick the spatula here. Or you might look for something else. This is because you want it like a taco shell. So there you have it. Okay. Easy as that. Now, if you want to go ahead and go all fancy and go buy yourself like a stainless steel object to, you know, place them on. Go for it. It's just the cheese is super soft, so I don't, I don't recommend it because I don't know if it'll work. But it's it's holding pretty well as a little taco shell. Now I'm gonna consume them as little tortillas, but I just wanted to show you. And then that's how I just basically went from this shredded cheese into that little pan to a little shell. And then this one, the reason I like this one is because it darkens a little bit more. Yeah, and it does it quicker. And right now it's still flexible. And then you just put whatever meat you want in there and other cheese and or chicken or whatever you're going to use. It. So let me prepare my meal and we'll see you back at the recliner. Okay. I'm back. Hello, YouTube amigos. So thank you for meeting me back at the recliner. There's my little Nintendo blanket. Now I decided to do something new and just in case... Beef. Um, I realize that a lot of what I'm doing is very repetitive and I don't want you guys to get bored. So I basically decided to put two days together in one video. Mm -hmm. So I was basically going to meet today, day 16 and 17 together. And for day 16, the only thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just give you guys a rundown of what I did. So around lunchtime yesterday, I warmed up three of my meat muffins. I have five left. Had five left. So I warmed up three of my meat muffins, which I ate, and the leftover of everything that I had. So I had leftover chicken. This and this is part of other videos. So it's um, chicken that I buttered in in the sauteed in the pan. And it was just a little bit, I want to say maybe like half a cup left of the chicken, maybe three quarters of a cup, somewhere in there. And I had two of the little, um, that I made the little crackers, like flexible crackers, where I was putting um, some of the cottage cheese on top. So that I also had two left. When I warmed those up, they just spread it on top of the chicken, so... I just ate it with basically chicken and cheese. And then I had like two little pieces of steak. And so all of that leftover stuff I ate around my lunchtime. And then for dinner, I wasn't as hungry, but I kind of was still somewhat hungry. And like I tell you guys, I take it one day at a time. So I went ahead and I did um, two of the left, the last two of the muffins that were left of the little meat muffins. Look at this little tortilla came out deformed, so <laughs> I couldn't make it. I couldn't flip it. When I flipped, it flipped all like it's okay. Just so you know that nobody's perfect. Here's mine that didn't come out pretty. The third one came out pretty though. Look. I didn't want to fold it, but and don't you worry, I have my little towel here, so I'm covered. I always have a little towel. All right, so then, um, where was I? So I was sharing about the yesterday's day, right? And then, so last night, oh, and then, now I've been noticing, and this might not have anything to do with carnivore, but just myself and how I was eating. Now, I did feel kind of like an acid reflux type of deal. 
And before all you uh, out there start saying, oh, well, it's because um, red meat is acidic and blah, 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 blah. No, dude. Um, what I did my research, I was watching some other YouTubers, um, doctors, not just regular YouTubers, doctor, like Dr. Shafee, Dr. Kenberry. And they were saying that when you're a carnivore, you're not supposed to be taking any other type of like supplements, vitamins, which I was. So I figured that that was, oh, excuse me. I figured that that was the case in my case. And I also have been drinking a lot of water, which is here, but I've been drinking it before my meal, like right before my meal, meaning that I was diluting also my stomach acid. So that's my understanding. So what I did is yesterday, completely last night, because I would take my vitamins in the night. I completely stopped taking my multivitamin and my vitamin B1 um, because I was losing hair because of COVID. So I started supplementing the vitamin B complex. So I stopped those two and I ended up preparing myself a chamomile tea and I ended up putting a tablespoon of um, apple cider vinegar. So I drank that tea that way, nice and warm, um, not too hot, not too cold, just nice and warm, like room temp. And that relaxed me and I just wanted to go to sleep. So I didn't even want to record. I didn't even want to do anything. I was just tired. So I just decided to um, make the two videos in one. And I'll probably do this for this week. If you guys really want me to go back to my daily videos, I'm okay. I can do it. I was just, you know, I, I received one or two comments when people were saying, just come back when you're not eating or just come back on another day. But again, you guys have to remember that this is my personal journey. If you guys don't like my videos, I mean, you can always move it along. You can always visit other channels. You can always click away. You don't have to watch every single video of mine if you don't want to. I'm not going to force you to. I would appreciate it if you did. But, you know, it is what it is. And you guys do what you have to do. Like I tell you in every video, you guys, you do you and I'll do me. So if you want to, I appreciate it. It gives me views. Um, I'm still not monetized for you that are saying, oh, well, she's just getting rich and blah, blah, blah. Not even close. That's why I still have a day job. And um, and I'm still a collector. And until I actually get monetized, I still need 400 viewed out, 4,000 viewed hours. Those are the minimum requirements for myself when I started. Plus, I need 500 minimum subscribers for one category, like 1,000 minimum subscribers. And I'm at, at, I'm at least at 87. I still have a way to go. So no, I'm not. This, this, all I'm doing, this is this is my own time because I know it takes time and I'm being patient and I'm growing my channel the way it's supposed to. I mean, if I blow up overnight, you know, all right then. But in order for me to get monetized, and I've been doing this since January, so it's, you know, we're in July, so it's been seven months and it hasn't happened yet. So it's okay. I know it eventually will. But let me show you what I did create. Let's get back to uh, the point of the story. That's the reasons kind of where I'm going to... But if you guys are okay with me doing dailies, I don't mind doing dailies. So there's my little arm flabby. Um, I did see that it's a little bit reduced. I don't know if you guys can see much of a difference, but I can. Here's my other little arm flabby. Um, that's where I've actually seen... Not a lot on the scale, like I just reported for day 15, week number three, is uh, I did lose three pounds, which is not bad. Typically, you'll be losing one, one and a half, maybe two pounds a week. So three pounds is not bad at all for two weeks. So that breaks it down to about a pound and a half, you know, for each week. And then, um, what else? What else? So I've noticed that, I don't know, maybe if you guys can probably tell, I don't know if my face is a little slimmer or not. I haven't seen that in the comments yet, so I honestly see myself every day and I look the same. <laughs> you guys should see the difference from day one to like right now, maybe I am. I, again, I won't do any other photos until day 30 and then I'll put the two and then that, that's going to be basically my my picture for my videos. But, but you guys let me know, okay? So let me show you real quick the food. I know that's what you guys are came, coming for. Now, I did show you guys a little bit of, you know, how I created the little tortillas. I went ahead and I made myself this delicious 
four egg omelet. Let me zoom out a little bit. You guys can see my toesies. So you know it's me. Nothing netted at here. So it's a four egg omelet. And I did little parsley, uh, dried parsley leaves. Um, and I made three total tortillas. So for this one came out a little deformed. My little cheese tortillas. Which I did show you guys how to make, just in case you're curious. They are extra greasy. This one I folded into a little taco, so you see how I can make it into a little taco. This is a cheese that I find that works best for these little tortillas. And then I have this little brown beef. This I basically, it was about yay size of a square. And I cut it into four. Threw it in a pan with some seasoning. Yeah. With butter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got to chew it really good. Um, so, so far today, I haven't felt that um, little acid reflux deal. It could be because of the vitamins and the water thing. I watched it today. So I'll let you guys know tomorrow. But anywho, um, let me continue here eating my meal. And then I'll see you guys on the second half. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube friends, welcome back. This is gonna be the second half of day 16, 17 that I told you guys that I added together. Now I did go over a little bit of what happened for day 16, even though I really didn't record myself. Um, and so for day 17, um, I am a little hungry, not too extremely hungry. So I decided just to go with leftover uh, the, the meat that I made earlier today, it's a little extra, not charcoal, but close enough. Ah. And I made three of my little tortillas, three of my little cheese tortillas. Here's one of the little ones. I was done. I didn't want to grate any more cheese. So then this is kind of like a bigger one. And so basically, I'm just going to hmm. the flavor, though, you guys have to try. Remember, I'm using pepper jack cheese, so very packed with flavor. Now, um, this video, I'm literally going to post tonight. So that you guys can see day 16 and 17, which is today. So today's, what's today, that Tuesday? So Monday and Tuesday. And then I'll do Wednesday and Thursday and then Thursday evening I'll upload again. And then I'll do Friday, Saturday and Saturday evening I'll upload again. Um, if you want me to go back to daily again, I'll go ahead and do that. I just saw some comments that people are being kind of like mean which i mean i get it if you guys don't want to see my videos i mean i don't understand why you get all butthurt about it just don't watch it i don't care you know but at the same time i'm like oh maybe maybe they're right maybe i should just post one or two instead of doing like daily so i need a little bit of salt for my meat I forgot I put it I put I put some seasoning in but it was um like Italian seasoning so it really doesn't have any salt to it besides the Italian seasoning and I like salt plus we need sodium in our bodies and it's a good mineral to have so there you high of it okay and I don't want this video to go forever long I did go ahead right after work um I definitely started answering you guys' um comments replying back i'm super excited i see now already up to 90 subscribers thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it i didn't think that when i started carnivore diet that it was going to take off because a lot of you guys are subscribing because of the carnivore diet now keep in mind it is a blogging channel it is a journey channel for me so it's not going to be just carnivore. I'm going to add a mix of everything. If you guys see my shorts, 
when I find interesting plates, I'll record them. I'll make up a little story in my head. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm out on the road, right? So it's going to be Nevada plates mostly and probably Arizona. That's the two states that I travel the most. Um, I used to go to California, but then California gas prices went crazy and nobody's really invited me there. And I go to Arizona because I have my two children there. The two oldest are there, so you know I miss them. But you'll see a lot of different, not just carnivore, just a lot of everything about me. Um, if there's any suggestions on what you want to see. I did want to recommend a channel um, for sure. And I will subscribe. I haven't subscribed yet, but I will subscribe. So I found... Um, What's his name? Mr. London is his channel name. If you guys have not discovered him, go discover him. He's pretty awesome, very motivating when it comes to workout. All the workouts that he does are catered mostly to women um, and no equipment needed for my workouts. I literally just found him yesterday while I was sitting, cause I do work from home. So while I was sitting at my desk at work, I said, you know what? I used to do bicep curls. Um, I used to do tricep workout, this whole deal with um, 10, 15 and 20 pound weights. But it's been a while since I've done that. I wanna say at least a year. So I wanted to go back into doing movements while I'm sitting at my desk. And maybe something where it's easy that, oh, excuse me, that I can stand up and sit down. And so what I ended up doing is I ended up searching on YouTube and he just came across and then I said, oh, very interesting. No weights, no nothing. Let's try. So I was literally sitting at my desk, stretching on my arms, doing small circles to help this arm fat right here and shoulders and back and then I saw other ones where I'm just sitting standing sitting standing and and believe it or not the workout was um intense enough for yeah I was feeling soreness and I said oh yeah I like this Ooh, interesting so if you guys search um as soon as I subscribe to his channel you guys will see it appear in and who I follow and you'll see that he has a lot of um, nice motivational videos, a lot of workout videos that are very interesting. And that's what I started doing this morning, uh, more officially as my workout. And again, I didn't start working out until basically week number three. And that's what I'm doing right now, um, 6 a.m. I do wake up at five. Um, I do meditate for about, you know, 45 minutes or so to an hour, possibly. I do change into workout clothes, so more like 45 minutes. Then I do my workout routine, and then I take a, a break, a shower, a break, coffee, and then I head to my desk so I can get logged in. And, and I just started that, so so far it's going good. I go to sleep really early because I want my eight hours, so I'm he slowly heading to bed around eight o'clock. So I'm quickly, you know, recording these videos, quickly going over them, putting my little comment boxes, seeing if I miss some things, mispronounce something, and I just laugh. Um, it's just so much happening at the same time. And I'm trying to upload these so you guys have them right away, right? And then there's at least something that can continue. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that I'm inspiring somebody out there. Um, you guys do inspire me. Thank you so much. I love the comments. I love all the support from the uh, carnivore community. I see all your comments. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys commenting and, you know, um, I guess kind of welcoming me. Also letting me know not to worry about the weight loss and that slowly my body will change. So uh, it's not really a worry, I guess, that I have. It's just kind of like I've noticed you know, the difference between having doing one diet to another diet. And like I said, I've, I've shared with you guys, I've been vegan, vegetarian, 
that really wasn't doing much. I only did that for six months. Um, keto is the one I've done the longest. Keto is the one I've done for two years, two complete years. And then I went back to like a Western diet uh, all the way up to, um, I did a lot of keto as well in between, but I still had like the one donut and here and there. There's only three videos of those. Um, you can see there it was going to be a food series, but those were killing me. So I stopped doing that. And that's when I decided to do a fast and then jump into carnivore because I was doing more research on, I wanted to do more with my body um, at my age. And again, and I don't mind sharing with you guys, uh, once again, I am 45 years old and I'm about five, almost five, eight. So I am at two, um, last I checked, it was 205, the last weigh in that I did. So I, I am, I think it's still considered like obese for my height and it's just i'm not comfortable at that weight right now i did hit 190 when i was doing keto so i felt like uh i did get a lot of weight and a lot of clothes started not fitting me clothes nice clothes office clothes that i had bought um because of i was a banker previous life before i started youtubing and working from home as a collecting um, agent uh as a banker it was just extreme for me and I have a lot of that beautiful office clothes that I wish I can wear again, but it's not fitting and it's sad because it's a size small and medium. And again, from 190 to the 205, that's 15 pounds. So yeah, so you clearly see why I'm not fitting into that clothes right now. Some of it I am, but majority I'm not. And so, yeah, that's when I was like, okay, yeah, this can't happen because I don't have time to go shopping again. And I don't really like the city, so I don't like driving into Vegas as much as people that live in Vegas. Not that I hate. I grew up, I've been in Vegas since 92 with my mom. And then once I found out about Pahrump, I ran away to Pahrump. And uh, Pahrump, Nevada is a small town, maybe 40,000 or so residents, barely any stores and i mean i i, I have videos <laughs> if you guys are interested in learning about my small town i literally have videos in there if you guys want to do like a pen pal thing i'm not sure if there's anybody out there still wanting to do um old school i'll for sure sign up for that i have my p.o box listed there in my channel profile um just hit you know more about my channel and then you'll see my p.o box Write to me, send me a card. Um, I'll reply. I'll send you guys mail back. That's pretty awesome. Um, I used to do pen pal when I was in school. And, you know, we've lost that. We don't have that anymore. It's just um, back to texting and doing this in front of people and the camera. But I'm interested. If you guys are interested, send me a letter. I'll write you guys back. I'll put a little sticker on there. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stickers and a whole bunch of envelopes. A whole bunch of cool little stuff that I used to collect. Stationary stuff. I don't even know what to do with it anymore because we don't write each other anymore. But I'm off, super off the subject. See what I tell you guys? I always love chit-chatting. Um, and I know you guys love listening or else you guys wouldn't be subscribing to my channel, right? <laughs> okay, friends. So... Um, I'm gonna let you guys go here. Of course, I don't want to continue on my conversation because let me tell you this video will be forever long Probably 50 minutes if I could just chit-chatting back and forth you and I but um, Yeah, let me finish my My little chunks of meat and my little tortillas that I made and so I'm gonna make, roll it into a little rolly taco. What's up? I feel good Hope you guys make them so and enjoy them. And then so for all of you that watch from minute number one to however long my videos are, know that I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys very much. Let me finish chewing. <laughs> She's so good. I had the flavor. Mm. Okay. And then, like I tell you guys in every video, don't forget you guys, you do you. I'll do me the best that I can. We'll see you in the next video. May God bless you all.
Bye.